I'm standing outside of Orlando headquarters at Softrock, a company that claims they match people with jobs and education options. Now our investigation found that employees use intimidation, bribes, coercion, even threats and deceptive tactics to push people into attending school. Our team was able to go undercover, and it's obvious. The Softrock management team is not concerned about these tactics. You just have to do whatever works. Whatever works. As long as you get results, that's the bottom line. Whatever it takes. Now, we also received numerous complaints from the victims of Soft Rock, and a few would only speak to us if we agreed to disguise their identity. I was told if I didn't go to school, that I would never have a career, and I'd be living in the streets. A Soft Rock employee harassed me daily and made threats. Still others were enticed by promises or bribes. They said if I went to school, I'd get a car and a vacation to Europe. But our investigation also uncovered some victims who refused to be intimidated by Softrock. They agreed to an exclusive on-air interview to discuss Softrock's tactics. Just listen to the horrific stories of kidnapping, theft, bullying, and even threats of food deprivation by Softrock employees to pressure people into going back to school. I was told I would lose dessert for a month if I didn't go to school. I was not allowed to leave my room for two weeks for not going to school. I wasn't allowed to go to my friend's birthday party unless I went to school every day. I skipped school one day and I wasn't allowed to watch Spongebob. Mommy said if I didn't go to school, then Santa would put me on the naughty list. My daddy took my bike away because I skipped school. At Soft Rock, our kids are the only people we pressure into going back to school. Bueller? Bueller? Bueller?